The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. Welcome to this episode of Pit Life Barbecue. Gather around the pit with your hosts, Johnny Mags and Greg the Barbecue Broker DiGiorgio. Let's talk barbecue. What's up, Woo. everybody? Coming to you live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe in Salem, New Hampshire. It's the Pit Life Barbecue Podcast, where we talk everything barbecue and a lot of other topics that you normally talk around the pit. As always, I'm joined by the barbecue broker. My dude. What's up, homie? I just took a swig of the old... Uh, whatever the, the hell we got that, here. Some uh, potential spices we have going on behind the spices. Oh, that one, that one, that one was the gator shake. The spices behind the, the gator spices. gator shake going on there. So what's up, bro? Nothing. Whew, what are we Chilling. What are we, we, let me ask you a question. Can, What's yeah. that thing up in the in the sky right now? That big glowing orange yellowy thing. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, the light well, cage? Well, not in here. Oh, but <laughs> the out, sun. outdoors. The, the sun. sun. What about the oh, sun? I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only the third time we've seen it this month. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Has, has every fantastic long weekend just been ruined by the rain? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. But Fact. Our, but Ridiculous. our work weeks are beautiful and sunny. Ridiculous. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. It's not oh. even that. It's been absolutely pouring. Yeah. So but, anyway. Uh, it, it held off for, from, for the cook I had this weekend. No, that worked. 150 people at the uh, Leuna uh, Building Records Union. Uh, 150 union workers and their families fed them pulled pork ribs, pulled chicken. What's a pulled pork rib? Pulled pork ribs. Oh, I didn't, I didn't comma, hear the comma ribs, there. Okay. Comma, pulled chicken. Oh, and, of course, the side uh, chick threw down her famous side dishes. Aha. Uh-huh. I see. Yep. And, it, and the rain held off pretty, pretty darn good, too, actually. Yeah. Which was nice. And I uh, smoked a bologna. In the whole <laughs> midst of it all, the I threw old a... Mississippi the old Mississippi Prime Rib. The old chub. The old chubby. I, um, I smoked the old chub. Chubster. Nice. How'd that come out? Yeah, you know, do the crisscross, the diamonds, a little bit of um, Uncle Steve's shake. No way. I know I did for real. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I put that. I, I literally and then I, put it on everything. And then I came like over it. Bit. And then I came over it with. Um, actually, I used some smoke bomb and some of the original is what I mm-hmm. used on that yeah. combination. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I came over with the old barbecue broker blend sauce and uh, glazed it up, and it was great. We, we've been making like BBLTs all week. Bologna, bacon, lettuce, tomato. That was, I figured you'd explain it to me eventually. Yeah. We don't do bologna in Australia. Well, you have pink hair, so I'm, I figured I had to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I, There's no correlation. I was just messing listen with Listen here. You. My boyfriend's on the show you. today, and he's going to... You keep giving me a hard time. <laughs> he's going to tell you off. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Today's episode brought to you by Uncle Steve's Shake. <gasps> yeah. we got to introduce our guest to him. You know, it's really yeah. crazy. Hey, have you ever wondered why your neighbor always getting the action when he lights up? When you light up, no one's coming to your parties. It's because your neighbor's using Uncle Steve's shake, and apparently you're not, which means one thing, Chrissy. You better get you damn some. Damn straight you do. Uncle Steve's shake is handmade, uses only the finest ingredients, and comes in over 10 amazing flavors, competition line, they got the South Texas Red, the dessert shake, just to name a few. If you can cook it, Uncle Steve has a shake for it. And if you have any shake questions, Uncle Steve has fantastic customer service. They'll walk you through all your shake needs. It's time to take your backyard game and your competition game yes. to that next level with Uncle Steve's Shake. Shake some on everything. UncleSteveShake.com. Check them out. This episode also brought to you by... Two Guys Smoke Shop and twoguyscigars.com. Whether we are barbecuing or not, we always keep the smoke rolling thanks to our friends at twoguyscigars.com. Today we are smoking the All Saints Dedication. Ooh. You like how I did that? That was nice. I know Perfect. you did. Thanks to our friends at twoguyscigars.com. We get to smoke some of the best cigars in the world, and so can you. <clears throat> Just visit twoguyscigars.com for your perfect barbecue companion. That's the number two, guyscigars.com. Also brought to you by Backline Smokers. Backline Fabrication Smokers out of Austin, Texas. Mr. Ryan Newland, Master Fabricator. If you guys are looking for a, not just your run-of-the-mill smoker or live-fire device, but something really customized, 
to fit your personality, to fit your needs. Ryan's that guy. Um, not one piece of equipment that leaves his shop looks the same. Um, the possibilities are endless. The guy's amazing. He takes time to really listen to you and get to know you and then somehow incorporates those things into your smoker or, or into your live fire device. It's absolutely amazing. So give him a check. Ryan Newland, Backline Smokers and Fabrication out of Austin, Texas. Also brought to you by... Our friend Ian Hemming yes. of CustomCuttingBoardsRS.com yes. hailing out of Magnolia, oh, yeah. Texas. Mm -hmm. These boards... The last cutting board you will ever need. That's what they say. The dishwasher board, the brisket board, the soon coming soon pizza board. Mm. All handmade right here in the USA. Can't go wrong. These boards take an absolute beating. Mm -hmm. And they withstand it. Like e I said, the yep. last one you'll ever need. Uh, Even my shop knives, too. Your shop knives. And... Custom colors, uh, engraving, yep. custom engraving. You have your your own name, your company name, your competition name, engraved right there in 3D, 3D engraving, right there on the cutting board. Yep. yep, amazing. Fantastic. Check them out at customcuttingboardsrus.com. That's the letter R, us.com. Yep. So, so, how are you? Oh, we already went that through there. Yeah, yeah. we, we already part. talked that. Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's talk we have to a special. Else. Let's talk we have to a special else. guest today, which, by the way, Super very, special. very nervous reading, reading the reading in front of the man himself. It was, it was a lot of pressure. Hey, I you, say, know, you were able to pull it off the last time. It was a lot yeah. of pressure. I saved it with my part, but it's it was fine. a lot of pressure. But I really, I really <laughs> enjoyed it. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody's. Favorite uncle, mm -hmm. Uncle Steve. Yeah, dog. What's up, brother? Oh, man. How are you guys doing? What's oh, up, dude? We're hanging in, pal. We're hanging in. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Greg, you did great on that. Thank you. That was a great reading through there. I loved it. I love it every time. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I try to put it my all into it, you know? Oh, uh, you do. You, it's believable. I love <laughs> it. All the, all the boys are out here for you, Uncle Steve. I see it. Randy, I'm what's glad. up? Gray, Mike C, Brother CJ, Juke, what's happening? Uh, who else we got? Oh, Steve Brown's in the chat. Yep, the dog Brother father. Brother Alton, the dog father oh, himself. Oh, no. What's up, <laughs> Brad? There we go. Oh, oh, this is Mike. Yep. Uncle Steve's yep. got it. Junior, what's happening? Uh, da, 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 Robert Marvin. Brad, what's up? Tardison, welcome, brother. Welcome, welcome. Kyle. Kyle. Big Rome, big Rome. I don't see Kent. I don't know. Oh, Kent, he must be late. You're late, Kent. Break. You're late. No. He's late. Kent is late. Kent was at the top. Unacceptable. No. Yes. Unacceptable. Kent was the first one to, men to say hi on the chat. I don't see Go all the way back to the I top. I don't see that. I, but first one I have is Randy. What's up? How do you have Randy? I got Kent. Anyway. <laughs> What's up, Uncle Steve? Uncle Steve, what's oh. happening? Man, I, Are you finally I, I, slowing down? You've been busy, yes. huh? Yes. I'll run through it. Most everybody that in the chat and you guys, we all have, uh, I'll almost say, our, our real lives, you know, our real jobs that take our time. Um, one of mine is that I'm a youth director at a uh, summer camp uh, at one of the clubs here in Houston. I run the summer camp, the swim team, the sports camps, the pool, the lifeguards, the wow. everything you can think of. And we showcase almost everything we do the month of June. So the month of June is full of 14 hour days for me. Wow. Start wow. starting it. And it's not inside at a desk. It's, it's outside in the heat. It's running the summer jam. We call it a summer jam, the summer jam and in the swim team, then swim meets. I roll into the house eight o'clock, eight 30 at night, wiped out and exhausted. So I feel like I've just missed everything for the past month and a half. Cause it takes a couple weeks to get my life back in order uh, right after that, you know, but, um, it is now starting to get back in back in shape, and I'll say just in time, because we uh, we're going through a few changes, some little growing changes at the Shake Company. Oh, um, I can't keep myself from running across something that I sit and think, oh man, I, well I bet this was this would taste good if it had 
this or that. And, uh, you know, originally I started with two flavors, original and then someone complained. So I came up with a spicier. <laughs> and from there, this over a five to six year period, we're up now to, I say, 11 and a half because we're about to be number 12. I'm just starting to send out some bottles to get some ideas of our newest one that's called Lucky Shake. Ooh. And it is a, uh, I'm branding it as an all purpose. Um, I got to tell you, most everything that we have, I found, is an all purpose. The Lucky Cow. Because even if it says Beg. pig shake or cow shake or chicken shake. You're going to use it on whatever you want because you like the taste. Mm. But we stuck to an all-purpose on that one. It has big chunks of stuff, big grains of stuff. It'll make a bark that make a big dog cry. Um, it mm. has all kinds of good flavors to it. And that, that, that's the only way I can describe it. Um, being the smaller size company that I am, I'm lucky enough where I can make things 100 pounds at a time, a little of this, a little of that. And, and you'll not have to wager the world on it. Yeah, and uh, so I'll keep it around, whether it's a big seller or not, I'm going to keep it around for those people that love it. And I've kind of found, you know, I, I started on, oh, I don't want to spread it out too much. Mm, thank you. But everybody's going to have their own flavor that they just love. I just want to make sure I hit everybody. I want everybody to have at least one that they just can't live without. Now, where did you get this? Where did you get this? Where did I get that? Yeah. In my mailbox. I have a mailbox. <laughs> I know you do. Well, see, that's just a, those are the same <laughs> an original 20. This is phenomenal. I, you like it. What's, hold on, what is, because I had, I got it out of my mailbox yesterday <clears throat> morning, so I had opened it up on the ride home yep. yesterday, and I tried it, and there was a, one thing that popped instantly in my mind, one protein. What's your thoughts? Bird powder. No. Protein. Oh. Um, like like a like meat like like a, yeah, a that's, protein. That's what protein is. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't taste a the caterer here. Yeah. I don't taste a I don't taste a protein in this. In this what's spice. that gonna go on? Oh, for what's it gonna, sure. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I mean, you you got the sweetness in there. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, but could, the sweetness comes at the on the back right it's after. Definitely going on pork butts, I would say. But I would say also, you could go on a brisket. You could go on beef ribs. That has a steak and that has SCA written all over it. Oh, yeah. so you're saying See? steak? Yeah. That has a steak. Yeah. It's going to be. It's going to be. My mind's for always on a hot. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Everybody's going to find somewhere that they that they want to put it. That is beautiful. That, okay. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that was the first thing that popped into my mind was a steak. You'd have to grind. Yeah. You'd have to grind it down a little bit into a finer powder for SEA comp. Nah. Yeah, oh no, 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 you do. Well, everything has to. And be I will. Down, I will say that that that's my only drawback. I do not like big big uh, grains of pepper. Mm -hmm. I don't like the big chunks of pepper, and that has some in it. <clears throat> so you know, mixing wise, if I get that's some of the really folks good. that tried it, and they say, "Hey, uh, boy, this is this and this is that." Maybe a little smaller grain of pepper. I'm all set. Um, mm. I love I love the way it tastes. I love the way it comes off. I put it on chicken last night mm -hmm. and, and love the flavor profile. It was just a, you know, like I said, I'm not a big pepper chunk fan. But some people are. I am. And I love that. That is really, really that nice. That was really good. Yeah. Really good. Oh, good. Good. That, that, see, that to me is more, that's almost relieving. Mm -hmm. Because it's, you know, it, it, I've said it before. These shakes are my work of art. Mm -hmm. It's like I painted a picture and hung it on the side of a wall. Um, <clears throat> I get people that come in all the time. Oh, boy, this is great. And I said, hey, look, this is the paint. You are the artist. Mm. Make something with it. And I, I'm just glad I can supply some good paint. That's no, some damn fine paint. It's good. And I, I, I do still take, I still have a little bit of that heat from the pepper. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. From there. Yep. Lasting. Not overbearing. And that, see, that's there. another thing. I, I had a little bit of that last night. And I had, couldn't decide if I really liked it or not. But I've tried so many different variations of everything you there. For for 11 bottles or 12 bottles that are on your table, I've probably tried 100 different variations of it before I even try to have other people try it. Sometimes I don't trust my own, my own flavor, my own tasting. 
it's good to have the the other point of, of, of references. Yes. Yes. What was your goal that to um, I mean obviously lucky cow, right? I mean well, I, what, I, had, you... I love the picture of the cow. Yeah. And that's I almost didn't use it. Yeah. Because when you see the cow on it, now we've actually uh, re- it's, it's Lucky Shake. The lucky labels shake. that I made for it says it's Lucky Shake. Still has a picture of the cow, that cow on there because I love that picture. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I think people are going to use it more towards beef. Is that what you but, are? Is that what you invented it for? Is for the beef? Uh, that's what I was picturing: brisket, steaks, yep, uh, yep. Beef, big, big, huge, fat beef ribs. Yes, that's what um, I was saying. See, and things like that. But that's just the same. I don't. Right? Josh and Babe. Josh loves the pig shape. Yeah. On steak. And I'm like, and it, when I first went, no, 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 that's supposed to be, hey, you know what? You put it on whatever you want, whatever you'll put it, as long as you're putting it on something. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Steve, Claudio just in the, in the chat here just said that um, she's having to sweet and spicier on, on veggies right now. You oh, know? yeah, yeah. That uh, Jean, Mrs. Dogfather, says, uh, you know, dessert, shake, and smoke bomb on popcorn. Oh, it's yep. fire. Mm, Unbelievable. You know, there is so much. So many ways. And everybody's going to have their own mix. Ribeyes, Marty. You got it, dude. That's. These would go great oh, on, on ribeyes. I can't. And what I mean by grinding, by the way, not that it's too thick. I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea. But something I learned of, by doing this past comp uh, was, you know, also the SEA on, on Saturday, was a practice steak had thicker granules from the homemade NEP rub. And it just didn't. In the, in the fast cook, it just didn't translate down smooth no. and made the top a little bit too, you know, kind of mushy a little bit with the with the rub. But some of the guys across from us said, "Hey, you got to grind down. It can't be. You can't have any rub on it. It's got to be it, like melted right into yeah. the steak." So, so that's all for home use for home steak. Boom. Yeah. But for any comp people- that you just grind this up, if you grind this up to a little powder and you had this on there, or even for a finish a finishing powder. For an SCA I know pe- I know people that take some of them and grind them down like that. Mm. That's why the uh, the smoke bomb. That's why I made it with no big grains of pepper. So it's a real fine. That is a perfect finishing powder. Yes. Uh, it gives you a little bit of smoke, a little bit of heat that mm-hmm. doesn't get cooked out, that doesn't go away. Mm-hmm. Um, and don't, hey, and don't be afraid to use it. You know, I I I think I was talking to. Uh, I was talking to one of the guys who's done some videos for me. He said, well, haven't done any videos in a while because a lot of people are cooking with Uncle Steve Shea. And I was like, yeah, and that's great. Don't be afraid to pop out a video, send it to me so I can put it on my Facebook, on my YouTube, put it out online. My YouTube channel has almost double the amount of videos that I have subscribers. I don't care about subscribers. That, that, that's something I'm making shape. But to have all those cooking videos on I me, mean, that's people that are cooking it because they like it. Mm-hmm. That, to me, is one of the greatest things ever. You know, I, 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 and you can ask, well, I don't know. Check with CJ. Ask, what, not that I would take credit. Ask CJ what he was using in his highest viewer video he put out. The video is over two million. Had a little cow in there. Mm-hmm. Um I appreciate, Maybe. I very much appreciate Big Eric down in South Texas. He just GC'd a cook-off using, uh, using some shape and, I, and gave, gave credit for it, listed it. I know a lot of people that they don't tell what they win with and what they cook with. Mm-hmm. And it would be nice to just get a little side, just a little letter right? saying, <laughs> I'm not going to put it my secret out, but I use this and that. Because that, 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 you know, that's the only, that, that's the thanks I get. That, that's what I enjoy. Right, right. That and good sales, which, uh, hey, during <laughs> pandemic, sales always help. Mm-hmm, so. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you this right now. You know, myself and John have, um, well, John first before me, but now I have, over this past year, accumulated quite the mm-hmm. pantry full of different rubs and spices and, you had to add, put an addition on the kitchen. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I, I we have a lot of guests <laughs> with different products. We get sent a lot of stuff. My wife's go-to for our smoked meatballs that we have, our smoked uh, jalapeno popper meatballs that she makes for our mm-hmm. business. The go-to spice for that is the cow shake. 
combo with the smoke bomb. People mm-hmm. go freaking nuts over it. I know Absolutely a lot of people nuts. that mix one of the one of the competition blends yeah. with that, and, and whether they're com- competing or not, they score big. It's it's such a good combo. Oh yeah, the cow yeah. shit. I'm just saying, there's a lot of good combos here. Yeah, but that specific specifically is a great yeah. combo. That that smoke bomb and that cow shake together. Yeah. Oof. Oh yeah, man. Well, hell, even even when I, even when I do pasta salad or potato salad, mm. yeah. something like, something like that, little gator shake on top of it uh, completely changes yeah. it. Completely changes it to a whole nother level. Gator shake. Yeah. Uh, my wife made some fish the other night, just in the oven, just a little bit, whatever, some halibut, white yep. fish. Boom, right on top. She gator made some shake. Some halibut for the halibut. Put some lemon in there. Oh, put some put some gator shake. But um, oh. nobody. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, Hal- what? Who? She made some halibut for the, just for the halibut. <laughs> Dad, come on, come on, oh. Dad! Joke, oh. come oh. on! Even the terrible ones are supposed to get re- jumped on right real quick. God, yeah, they, yeah. yeah. You too. I didn't laugh for a reason. I heard you the first time. Oh boy, oh. boy, 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 boy. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So kids have a big bottle each of the Gator Shake just for the popcorn. Yeah. Now I gotta yeah. tell them uh, that 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 Mrs. Dogfather says, "Smoke bomb and Gator Shake on popcorn." No, oh, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. Is that no, what she no. said? It was smoke. D- it dessert was shake. Dessert shake. Dessert. And smoke, and smoke bomb. bomb. Okay. Woo! That's just. That's just that, that, oh, yeah. That's they, a they, lip they, smacker they, right my, there. My, my, my yeah. kids are all about, all about the dessert shake. <laughs> Oddly enough. <laughs> and I know it's July, so I don't want to hear no crap from nobody. Crap. Wow. Uh, what? A friend of mine, Ken Smith, from the uh, Faces to Places podcast mm-hmm. out, down in Tennessee. He, uh, he was on a podcast called Christmas Clatter. You know, all about Christmas. It's a monthly podcast. You know, so I started to listen to it. You know, pretty interesting, cool stuff. Me and Holly already started, uh, already planning uh, Christmas cookies. What's the first one she uh, came up with? She goes, we have to come up with a dessert shake Christmas cookie. Oh, can you uh, imagine? Right out the gate. That's the oh, first word yes. that came out of her mouth was a dessert shake Christmas Diabetes, cookie. here I come. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hey, that's it. I can't wait. That's, you know what? That's a damn good idea. Taking it. Taking yeah. it. Yep. Dessert well, cake going. cookies. Dessert cake. So, uh, dessert shake cookies. Dessert shake cookies. So next yeah. thing we're running through, and um, I'm actually smoker. swapping out one of my, uh, my big retailer, my biggest retailer, I'll say, in Texas. And now they're into Georgia and Florida. It's the Bucky's chain. Yes. Fun, wonderful place. So much fun. The, the bottles there that are on a, that are in front of you, we're mo- get rid of, getting rid of that little four ounce bottle which and bumping is, up uh, to an eight and a half ounce bottle, which eight and a half ounce bottle holds six ounces of shake. Um, it's a better looking bottle. You're going to get more. We were able to keep the <clears> price <throat> effective, even though everything that we use price is going up. Mm. I got a message from my plastic <laughs> suppliers, my bottles. The type of bottle I use, going up 8% just because plastic is hard to find. Yeah. So everything's going up, but yep. we're, we're able to keep it. So keep here. It at a pretty good price. I think online that bottle retails for 8 bucks. And um, if you go online and buy, the secret is don't just buy one bottle because that shipping is going to stay the same. Right. I've apologized 100 times for shipping. Shipping is what shipping is. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, there's no handling yep. where it's you know eight dollars to ship it. Flat but rate another box, $10 right? Dollars for me to pick it up. Flat rate box yep. usually. Flat, flat rate boxes, flat rate envelopes. Yeah. That's it. Yep. And um, it, it just it is what it is. Yeah. But okay. we're we're running a special right now to kick off these new bottles. Mm. It's one of everything. We've reshaped it. Uh, it's eleven bottles, seventy five dollars includes shipping. Mm. Um. And as as soon as I get the for sure on the uh, on the new one on the uh, uh, Lucky Shake, I'm probably just going to stick the Lucky Shake in there without changing the price. Uh, j- you know, at least for a few months, just to get it out there and get it sold. And I promise, out of that stack right there, you're going to find something that you love. Yeah, and that, that that's what I care about. I like I said, you don't have to love it all. 
Oh, so you'll love one of them. Yeah, here, he, like I said, right here is the the original bottle. I yeah. dude, and this is the new des, newly designed bottle. And it's you hard know. to tell on camera, but you hold it in your hand, and you're like, yeah. I will challenge. This is much bigger. I, I would challenge someone to find a bottle that they that at least one bottle that that they liked here. That would that would be like a like a bet. Yeah. Definitely, there's something here that somebody would like. Oh yeah. There's a lot of different oh, yeah. personalities floating around here. A lot of different things. That, yeah. A lot of and I have people that low salt, people that don't care about salt, mm -hmm. uh, people that like spice, people that don't. Yeah. People call. I don't like any spice at all. Get you the original. Uh, or I want my face to burn off. Well, yep. the uh, South Texas red is not going to burn your face off, but it'll let you know that it's hot. Yep. Yeah. It just won't. It won't let you know it's hot two or three hours from then. Right. Right. Oh, for sure. So, Phenomenal. That's how Texas Red is delicious, man, on chicken, too. Yeah, especially. yeah. Oh, yeah. And the, but, like, uh, you said the new bottle, you know, the, the, the bigger lettering and everything, you know, the, the like, I think it was, yeah. Like it the, just, the, it the just it looks shape better on pops. the shelf. Let me see. Let me see. It'll, you know, it feel, it'll feel better in your hand. Mm. <laughs> now, this isn't Always open, is it? Innuendo. No. <laughs> Can I? You know, you're going to anyway, so fuck it. The I'm only one we you. still have to bump up to that size bottle is the dessert shake. That I have to finish labels on that. I'm, I'm, I'm to be honest, for uh, Kent's wife, I'm looking for a different color top. Now, That's gradually, different. we're going to go to all black tops. To be honest, they're easier to find right now, and that you know it doesn't look bad. Mm. They're easier to find, so um. We will probably go through, after we burn through all these red tops. We'll probably go to all black tops, which again, that's all cosmetic stuff. Yeah, on yeah, the inside yeah. is going to be the same great stuff. Dessert shake and Uncle Steve's. I mean, uh, the the dessert and the gator. No, which no good host, Kent? And I can't because the I have the, the chat gator. room up. The bomb and the gator. The bomb. And the gator. mad scientist over here mixing mixing oh, the shakes. As it's mine. Well, that's it. No, hey. There you go. Very few people, and very few, including the big competitions, use just one flavor or use just one. It's layering, it's mixing, and it matters whether you use it before or after. Wow. I, I tell you, hey, oh. Uncle Steve, have you noticed that Kent can be very sensitive at times? Well, because yes. I'm the only one who's got his back today. Yes. He was the first. Well, I just, I just looked at the text. I was one of the first comments, you son of a bitch. Listen to your <laughs> producer. <laughs> He was. What's up, Len Will, Love buddy? you, Kent. Lenny. Now back to the chat. Big Rome. There we go. You know, we literally are. Like, Kent, you're, you're the reason I push these guys to be on time. Without you, Kent, we could be late. Thanks. Yeah, Greg walked in right at five. I'm like, awesome. <laughs> Kent's going to get mad at us now. Thanks. Hey, it happens. It happens. <laughs> but, so yeah, we got the new packaging, which is great. Yes. We got the new line, which is, like I said, I, I got a I got a date with a steak this weekend for sure. Good, good. Yeah. You know, we'll have come up with a couple other things we can find. But uh I know we had talked, you know, getting Uncle Steve out there and the name, getting the bottles in everyone's hands. I know I had yeah. spoken to you a few months back on a little something I had in the work, so we can announce it now because everything's been submitted. And all this. Uncle Steve's shake, as far as I know, I could be wrong, is making its first ever appearance in a cookbook. Oh, Ooh. all right. All right. Yes. I love it. I love the, it. Um, one of our sponsors, Two Guys Smoke Shop, David Garofalo, um, his podcast, The Cigar Authority, every Saturday from mm -hmm. uh, noon to two, um, is coming out with a Cigar Authority cookbook. Yes. And he has yeah. gone through a lot of cigar manufacturers, customers, reached out here, some friends and family to um, s submit some recipes. Yeah. So uh, he asked me, and so he did, and we went I forgot to do that. with we know. Uncle Steve's Shake competition pig shake pork belly burnt ends oh, and glazed good, good, good. with an uncle steve's 
spicier barbecue glaze. Wait. No. Oh. Wait. 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 Oh, oh yeah. Wait. What? Did you say a barbecue glaze? Like a glaze? A barbecue glaze. Spicier, made with the rub. We're talking about a, b- a bottle of sauce, an actual glaze. Sauce? This man can't answer the question wait, you better have, than you have sauce. <laughs> wait. Hold on. You have sauce, and you have the sauce. I had the sauce. And I never had the sauce. <laughs> I could have sworn I sent wait. two bottles. I could have sworn I sent two jars up. Oh, you might have, but it never made it to my house. No. Oh, right. Thanks, John. Wow. wow. Occasionally, I see how the creative the creativeness gets flowing, and I have a nice little recipe oh. on a um, on a whether it be a, a sauce, a glaze, a dipping sauce. It's a uh, thin enough to use as a glaze, thick enough to use as a sauce, and, and it's real good. It's one of those that. I judge most of them by if I can take a few bites and stop eating it, yeah, it's okay. I take a few bites of this and I, I don't stop. I can just, I need a little more, a little more, a little more. Uh, I don't sell it. I make it in big batches, stick in the refrigerator in little mason jars. And every once in a while, when I get a chance, I'll double wrap it and bubble wrap and mail it out. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things. I, 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 I The shake business and for those of you that want to jump into the seasoning business, have a second and third job because there's not a lot of money in it. Even when you go co-packing, until you get to be one of the giant ones, uh, you're making pocket money. And, uh, you know, with this, bottling a sauce is that much more expensive and time consuming. And, uh, I just, you know, I, I do it for fun. I, I do these shakes for fun. A uh, little bit extra money, a little pocket money is good. Mm-hmm. But, um the sauce I do just on a rare occasion for fun, just because it's something else that's neat for me to make. Uh, I love being creative. I mean, you, I know y'all asked me earlier, looking over my shoulder, uh, those are two of my jackets that I wear for different functions out here. Uh, I love being creative. You know, I, one of them's 4th of July. One of them is a banquet. The green one with the, or the, with the uh, green sequins. <laughs> love and uh and i love it now the green one actually lights up i have a switch <laughs> inside it i wired it does so it has flashing lights ah, it does. How, how are you not wearing it for us right i don't now? understand how you're not well, wearing because it right it, you know I, next time I, I show up occasionally in, in masks and hats or no clothes on or <laughs> or, you know, or all like the that. above or all the above <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I, I have to I have to keep it Keep, keep it, you know, keep it clean. My daughters might be watching. Ah, yes, yes. If, yes. if they are, for some reason, with the new ba- uh, great babysitter at home, if they're with a babysitter, Stevie, Laney, and Alila, I love you so much. Mwah. You know, uh, if I'm not, not uh, mistaken, uh, Stevie just uh, had a birthday. Stevie just turned three. And for those of y'all doing the math, I am, there's a 55 year age difference between she and I. <laughs> And uh, see, that's the, the response. I and a boy, Uncle say Steve. It's, yep. it's going to keep active. me young. No, it keeps me sore. And it keeps me tired. But it keeps me smiling. Yeah. That's yep. what it's and, uh, all my about. My other two, my eight-year-old, my 12-year-old, they're the same. We just made reservations for a big water park that's outside of Austin uh, for beginning of August just to get a little trip away. Uh, I, I can't go down the speed slides because... My speedo may wedge up, but you know the old banana hammock. That's it. That's it. Yeah, one hey, one trip down the speed slide. There's no banana left. Ah, <laughs> just a little hammock flying around. Mm-hmm. Oh, at that point, you get a banana split. Two eggs. Oh, I'm on a hanky. roll today. <laughs> Two eggs and a hanky. Oh, yep. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh. I love it. Well, so how has um. The response been on the on the lucky shake. You know, um, I haven't gotten a lot of it back yet um, and because I just started, I just sent some out last week. I mean, that's literally the first the first send out and run on it. Uh, and I call it lucky shake because I didn't do a whole lot of mixing and variations and ten different. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I hit two different variations, and um, I sent them up to TNT Barbecue because I know of one of his tricks of the trade, if you will. And I had him try them and he just, he just exploded over the second version I sent him, which that's the one y'all have. And so I I really felt lucky 
you don't do that. Gator Shake, I probably had 20 different mixes and then went through a second round and so on. This Lucky Shake right here, you know, boom. It, ju it just hit, and I felt very lucky to get it right. Now, I still may make a couple of changes depending on what people say. I, I don't want the people that got them, and the few there's a few more that are going to get them. You know, I don't want the, oh, it's great. I Be, be critical. There's, you know, no, there's it, no luck involved here. I just want to say there's no yeah. luck involved here. You are a seasoning scientist. Yeah. All right? There is tremendous amount of skill that goes in what you do. Yeah, anyone can throw some spices together, but the way you do it has a very unique flavor compared to a lot of other spices out there. So, I, yeah. yes, you can call it... I'll let you call it Lucky Shake, okay? All right. I'll all let right. you call it Lucky Lucky Shake, but we all know it should be called Master Skill Shake or something like that because uh, you are like a ninja. But but a, a lot of this ninja also shake. has to do with the with the Next one. with the um, with the original product that you're using. You yes. know, you're you going, you know, not a particular oh, I'm going to put a a, pap a smoked paprika in there. You're going with a specific time kind of paprika in, yeah. of paprika in yeah. freshness is key you know like you said you you're in in your shake room yeah. you know or the uncle shake research and development wing wing the R and d wing yes um you know it's all all by hand it's getting yeah. ground by you that you know it's in its whole form then broken down then mixed, so it's all fresh product. So you are grinding down with. all the fresh. Like, do you make your own? I mean, I don't know what goes in all this, but are you grinding your own paprika or stuff like that. No, 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 no. I, you I order grind those. any spices, any anything specific that you get. I, I don't nothing specific. Okay. I actually I order them. In fact, I was out of my supplier yesterday, and I call them a day in advance, and they'll get my order ready. And he knows now that because I've gone through four different types of the same size black pepper. And he gave me the wrong type one time, and I went and made one. I, said, I opened it up, and I called him. I said, it has to be this specific black pepper for the flavor and the texture and the look. Yeah. And that, I, I'll tell you, right off the bat, one of my first things was, you go in order when you see something new. You look at it. If it looks appealing, you taste, or it, you, you smell it. Mm -hmm. If it smells appealing, you taste it. Yep. And one, one, two, three, and that can I know that can be used for a whole lot of things in life, mm. but that in particular, uh, it, my shake has to look right first, then it has to smell right. I had 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 a company one time said, "Hey, look, we're going to try to mix your brand for you," and they they tried to mix it up and gave me two bottles and said, "This is exactly," what. and I smelled it, and it smelled like bagged dog food, mm. and I said, "Now I Delicious. said, now smell mine." I had about now smell yours. Do you smell the difference? Well, yeah. I said, then it won't work because if it doesn't smell the same, it may taste close to the same, but you're looking at taste the the first taste, the middle taste, and the aftertaste, and that'll all change. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that's why in mixing, that's one of the things I enjoy. If a recipe calls for you know, a certain number of pounds of uh, one particular ingredient. I'm, I hand measure that out. I make sure that it is right there. You know, if I'm a tenth off, maybe, if I'm getting tired at night, but it's almost exact so that every bottle is the same. It makes a difference. I just, we're, we're, we're working with a, with a co-packer for our any uh, New England Pitmaster all-purpose rub right now. And yeah. he, you know, I got it. I did exactly what you did. I opened it up. Yep. Looked at it. It looked off. I smelled mm -hmm. it. It smelled like it. Yeah. The taste, much different. I figured yep. it out right off the bat. He used a different type of salt. Yep. It was a larger grain salt. I use a Morton's. Mm -hmm. I use a Morton's in that recipe. He had some Israeli sea salt, which was just way coarse, way saltier. Changed the whole dynamic of the entire rub. Co-packers will do kind of what they can to save a little bit here and there because they're going, and, and that's that's part of business. They can get it right. Uh, I talked with Red, and hey, I, I know he's not on here. He's, he's probably asleep right now. He just shipped out. Yeah. Bless him for what he's doing. Um, 
when he wakes up, if he watches this, within the next few days, he'll be receiving five large boxes packed with shake. For he and I, there's over 100 bottles of everything that we make. Amazing. Just because it gives me chills thinking about leaving your house, leaving your family for a year. Yeah. Going over to do dangerous work. And, and granted, he picked this job. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean, you know, it's any, but he was talking to me and about, because he just came out with his. He said, you know, tell me about how, what do I do with a co packer? And I said, the best thing you can do with a co packer, be a little bitch. I said, you make sure that it, it is exactly what you want by looks, by smell, by taste. Make sure it's exact because every bottle that goes out is going to have your name on it. Speaking of co-packing, are you now co-packing for some folks out there? Uh, I, it's hard to explain. Uh, I've made a couple of different versions for different people that are based on one that I already make. You can't come to me with a recipe of all kinds of new stuff and I'm making it. Okay. But if you say, hey, I took one of your flavors, and, and this actually it's happened three or four times where <clears> people <throat> have come and said, hey, I took one of your flavors and I did a little this to it, and I love it. It's outstanding. We make a couple for different people, and then a couple of the people, both uh, Big Rome and Kent, Big Rome and Smitty, pretty close to came up with a smoke bomb. I made a couple of little adjustments to it. But uh, And that's why on the bottles, all the bottles now say in some letters around the bomb, uh, Big Roman Smitty approved. And, of course, Kent called me with Daddy Dutch approved uh, pig pig shake. Yep. And he said, hey, you're never going to guess what I did. He always makes you guess. What? (laughs) Of course he does. No, no, really, you'll never guess. (laughs) He told me, me, and I took almost the, what he did. I said, Kent, what do you want to do with this? You want me to make you some and put you a label on it? And you can put it around? Daddy Dutch He approved. says, no, you, you take me. it. So I took it, and I don't really th- – I may have made a couple of tiny adjustments, but not noticeable. You know, a half a pound of this. It's a, nothing – it's right on what he said because in respect to him. And uh, so, I, so I pulled that out. But there are a couple that I make that they said, hey, we took your this, and we want to, we want to make it with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um. It is one of those things. I, I put a little my name. I have to put my name on the bottom mm-hmm. package, my uncle Steve Shake. Mm-hmm. But I don't. I don't need credit for it because they came up with it. I just pour it. You know, I mix and stir. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that, that's kind of like people that win. As much as I'd like them to jump on Facebook and I won this with this and this with this and da 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 da. And I feel honored when they do. I don't expect them to, because then you're giving away your secrets. I would like a little phone call. <laughs> uh, Kent's always great about it, and Kent's been winning a lot. Yeah, with two or three of the versions. Hell yeah, lots yeah. of his legs. He, are, his legs are definitely he, tired recently. He, for sure. he won't tell you how much of which, <clears throat> but he'll tell you what's in it. Mm-hmm. Kent helped a lot, helped me out a lot in the last comp. Mm. Definitely did. You know, you, can, you can't beat, and I say it all the time. You can't beat the, this, this barbecue family. It's amazing. This group of everybody. Mm-hmm. They're gonna help each other. They're gonna do this. I don't care if you have your own seasoning out or not. Call me. Let's talk. Let's be buddies. Uh, Rick and I swap seasonings. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm careful. I will taste test and use a little bit of someone else's. But I don't want it to affect what I think about mine. I don't want, you know, to taste one and then somewhere in the back say, oh, I, I should make one. The da, 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 da. Uh, so I'll use it and I may use it on a cook and. I've had a lot of them that are real good come across. So that's awesome. Absolutely, it's a fun game. Absolutely. It really is. Well, Uncle Steve, thank you, sir. Oh, a million times over. Thank you for taking some time out to join us. Talk about this, the Lucky mm-hmm. Shake, coming soon. Like I said, I got steak written all over that bad boy. I can't wait. Uh, that Lucky Shake's going to do some winning. I'm, I'm just going to tell you, that Lucky Shake's going to be on some trophies and some walks. For sure. Absolutely. Amazing stuff. But, brother, once again, thank you for everything you do for us personally, mm-hmm. for the barbecue community, the barbecue family, all our YouTube, all our comp guys. 
you know, Red. And oh, speaking of Red, if anyone wants to check out Red's channel, it's Red's mm-hmm. Barbecue and Pizzeria. He <clears throat> just left for another deployment or parts unknown. So please keep him and his family in your prayers for a nice, safe return home. You know, because he he's been going crazy with his new trailer and everything. You know, cooking the different events mm-hmm. and yep. charities and nice, awesome guys. So check his channel out, guys. You, you won't be disappointed. But Steve, like I said, thank you for everything you, got, you do. Thank you guys. We love you. Brother. We love you, bud. Yeah, Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve, Hell ladies yeah. and gentlemen, everybody's favorite <laughs> uncle. <laughs> My right, hang on one second, Steve. Awesome, brother. Yeah, man. Good stuff. What a just a phenomenal dude. Just a just a, a true gentleman. Yeah. In, in the, in as genuine final, as they come, as fine, nice as they come. Finest terms, you know. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, I may or may not be here next week. I know. <laughs> We're supposed to go to Aruba next week. Me and the wife. We have a wedding to attend, but I'm having passport renewal issues. Oh, there's a huge backlog on that. Oh, idea. and I sent it in. We sent it in months ago, and. Rachel got hers back, and I got a little letter with a new application that said you didn't complete or and or sign and or sign your application. Which Uh-oh. one is it? Which complete is- or sign? <laughs> I mean, Rachel filled it out, and I signed it. It, I, we, it was a team effort. We know what we oh, did. Yeah. So I might be here next week. Well, if you are. I hope I'm not, but if I am. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're not. What as are well. we doing? We are speaking <laughs> to Emily mm-hmm. of the American Royal. <gasps> oh. Threw a couple dates on there, and they said the 27th worked perfect. If that's fan- works, awesome. Perfect. We have that open, so we are talking everything American oh, Royal. Of course. Awesome. Start. The events, the invitational, fun. the open, the rub and sauce competitions throughout the year, the Hall of Fame, yeah. everything. Pick American a week I'm not here. Royal. That's fun. Yeah. yeah On the week I'm not here. That's great. We were talking before I even knew you were going away. Can't wait. No, that sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. So, all right. That's it. That's it for this week, folks. We'd like to thank you all for joining us. Catch the audio wherever podcasts are found. Catch the video on Facebook and YouTube. On YouTube, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Mm-hmm. You have all our episodes right there at your fingertips. On social media, find us at all the links down, down below. below. And we're going to actually have to update that because we've gotten into the clubhouse game. Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> actually, we have. Nice. And uh, we, we, we're still trying to iron that out, which is, you know, me and, you know, Chef approached, Chef Johnny approached me on it, and so we've been going back and forth trying to figure it out on our, ourselves, and we, we're like two long cats on a rope social of media stuff. Gotta it. love it. Just and whoo! Something else to latch on to. <laughs> Questions or comments, please send them to pitlifebbqpodcast at gmail.com, and like always, subscribe, like, rate, right and, and review. review. Hit that share button. So either you will be... Here next week or on a beach somewhere with a nice um, frozen umbrella drink. But uh, yeah. either way, it'll be good. Either way, it'll be good. Either, either way, you're on we'll vacation. Find out. <laughs> we'll find out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Until next, Til week. next week. Keep, keep the, the smoke, smoke rolling. rolling. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.